Hi betting experts, on Friday the 10th of September we're off to Doncaster, day three of the St Ledger meeting, fast ground, a dry weather forecast, top notch racing, really informative. We start off with our value angle selection in the 140, this is the Kazoo Flying Scotsman Stakes, seven furlongs, six yard, listed class one, two year olds only, £22,684 on offer to the winner, a 10 runner field, all of them have got something to recommend them, I think the value lies with Owen Burroughs cult Al Fayala. Now this one has run four times in total, starting off with a narrow win on debut at Salisbury when still quite green under pressure, then running with credit at Yarmouth, Newmarket and York. And if you watch his latest effort, it came in a huge field York nursery. He's sent off as well back nine to two second favourite, swerved right leaving the stalls, which didn't help matters and then pulled quite hard early on in rear in a poor position, but absolutely flashed home to dead heat for second under Jim Crowley. Ryan Moore takes over in the saddle this afternoon. I think the long straight at Doncaster on fast ground is absolutely ideal. And while perhaps some will think, well, Alfaila got beaten a handicap last time out, um, is he really good enough to be tackling a listed contest? I suspect that is probably the best form on offer here. And you're getting around about eight to one to your money today. There, there should be more to come. Hopefully, um, he'll be more settled in this big field. A strong gallop assured. It did pull a bit hard at York last time out, but hopefully it's a learning curve upwards and in the right direction. I think he's the one to side with. For our nap of the day, we go to the 210. This is the Flying Childers Stakes, a five furlong group two, class one, two year olds only. Um, 11 runners have been attracted, and I think the one with standout form claims is Richard Hannon's cult R. Moore, who's also ridden by Ryan Moore. So we're hoping for a good afternoon for Ryan Moore. Richard Hannon in particularly good form at the moment, eight winners in the last 14 days. And Ryan Moore, by the way, is absolutely flying. He's ridden eight winners, including a treble earlier in the week. He's around about 30% strike rate with his rides at the minute. And more, two from four, a winning debut over this course and distance on fast ground back in April, which is a plus, shows that this track suits then. 5th of 27 at Royal Ascot in the Windsor Castle. Really impressive on soft ground at Goodwood. I thought possibly on the wrong side of the track, but quickening up really smartly to beat Fearby, a horse I really like. Um, that was in the Malcolm, a Group 3. And then last time, sent over to France. Far from disgrace, finishing 4th of 14 behind perfect power shaping better than the bare result. Fast ground this time should suit ideally and Arm Moore for me has a real smart turn of foot and I'm hoping Ryan Moore will produce him late and quicken away from these rivals. Best of luck on Friday betting experts.